So you've heard about Construct 3, the fantastic game engine by Skira that runs directly from your browser. But how do you get started? Well, it's really easy. Simply visit construct.net and press this big red Get Started button. Here, you can check the system requirements to see if your computer or other device will handle Construct 3, and you can press this button to launch. Alternatively, simply type in editor.construct.net into your URL bar. And hey presto, Construct 3. It really is that easy. You can also run Construct 3 in app mode. I'm using Chrome on Windows here, so I can press the little menu at the top here, go to More Tools, and select Create Shortcut. I can call it whatever I like, tell it to open in a new window, and press Create. And then, if we flick back to my desktop, you can see, amongst everything else, a Construct 3 shortcut. Now if I load C3, it'll load like a native app, no messy URL bar or anything like that. If you're using Chrome OS, then click Chrome's menu button, select More Tools again, but this time click Add to Shelf. On Android, you click Chrome's menu button and choose Add to Home Screen. Generally, if you launch Construct 3 and it detects there is a method for it to launch in app mode, it will prompt you to do so. A common misconception with Construct 3 is that because it's browser-based, you have to be online in order to use it. Well, I'm going to show you that this isn't the case. If you're using the free edition, like I am here, then as long as Construct has downloaded the current version that you're using, then you can disconnect your internet and use Construct 3 as you would. To demonstrate, I'm going to open a new project like this, and now I can turn off my internet. Notice Construct 3 is still running. I can add sprites, plug one down here. I can still use the animations editor. Woo, look, I'm still using Construct 3 and I'm offline. Anyway, I will just quickly reconnect before we move on to the next bit. Construct 3 automatically will stay up to date and you can decide whether it notifies you about stable or beta releases. The URL editor.construct.net will automatically serve the latest stable edition, so you don't have to worry about that. If you want to be in the know and be able to test cutting edge features, then you can enable beta notifications. Simply go into the settings, scroll down, and you'll come across the option to enable updates for stable or beta. Once you've enabled that, next time Construct 3 loads, if there's a new update available, it will prompt you to update. If you want to load a specific Construct 3 release, uh, let's say a really cool update came out, but you don't want to always be using a beta release, then you can type in a specific URL to load a particular version. If you go into the address bar, and at the end of editor.construct.net, you can put in a forward slash and the version number of what you want to load. Here, for example, we'll load R114. If at any point you want to check which version of Construct 3 you're using, simply go to the menu, click About, and it will show you the current version information. So now you know how to get started with Construct 3. On the Start page, there are plenty of other links for you to get stuck into, including our Beginner's Guide, Tutorials, and our Manual. We'd strongly recommend having a look at these, especially if you're brand new to Construct, or just want to refresh the basics. Thanks for watching this video everyone, and we'll see you for the next one.